Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have an exciting review for you guys. Today, I'm reviewing Isteen Fusion Water Magic SPF 50 sunscreen and that offers broad spectrum protection. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I am Dani. I'm a pharmacy specialized in cosmetology and I make skincare related uh, videos on YouTube. So if this is your thing, you're of course welcome to subscribe. Okay, so let's start with analyzing the sensor characteristics of this sunscreen because as we know, sensor characteristics are very important, especially for everyday use. If it's lightweight and easy to apply a sunscreen, you will use it every single day. And if not, you will pretty much avoid it. When applied, this sunscreen truly is lightweight and it spreads out very easily it does give me a little bit of shine but it's not sticky which is important it also leaves no white cast and it doesn't burn when it's applied around eyes initially but i have to emphasize that this did make my eyes water in the sun it didn't burn initially but my eyes were watering later on and one more thing when i posted the short reviewing this sunscreen a lot of you guys actually commented that this does does irritate your eyes. So in case you have sensitive eye area, be careful with this one. Two things are bothering me regarding sensor characteristics of this sunscreen. One, it does have a smell, it does have fragrance, and it's not necessarily a pleasant one. And two, it does peel when I apply it on top of my vitamin C serum. Okay, now let's see the UV filters. This one has five total UV filters. I have to read them. I don't know everything on top of my head. Okay, so first of all, we have ethyl hexyl salicylate, humanol T150, tinocerbas, abobenzone, and insulazole. And all I can say is these are decent UV filters. There are no mixorals because Isdeen is not a L'Oreal owned company. That's a how can I say it? I'm, I'm sad that I'm not seeing any mixorals, but okay, L'Oreal patented that and we can only see those UV filters in L'Oreal owned companies. But anyways, we do get UVB and UVA protection, broad spectrum, so the, the filters are decent. Okay, and now it's time for the exciting part. Let's perform a UV camera test on this sunscreen to see how long lasting it is exactly. For today's uh, UV camera test, I will be using, as usual, the UV Magic Mirror by LNL Skin. And of course, if you're interested in this tool, you can use my code Danny35 and get 35% off at checkout. Okay, now let's check out the UV camera footage and see how well the sunscreen has held up so far. Here is the footage after two hours of applying this sunscreen. So I would say that even only after two hours, uh, this sunscreen needs to be reapplied because you can clearly see a lot came off on my right cheek. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. Okay, now fast forward to the four hour mark. This is when it became clear to me that the sunscreen needed to be reapplied more often. And now let's check out the six hour test, but I can already tell you that you need to reapply this one more frequently. So on the six hour mark, so yeah, definitely I would say don't wait six hours to reapply the sunscreen. Definitely do it sooner. For some reason, it's not holding up well. Don't know why. Okay, and now let me give you the final verdict on this sunscreen. Okay, so first of all, I love how lightweight it is and I love that we're getting both UVB and UVA protection and it's, yeah, it's broad spectrum. I also have to emphasize that I do enjoy the glowy finish that it's giving me because I do have dry skin, but I must emphasize that in case you have oily skin, you might not enjoy it as much as I am. If you already know your skin is reacting to fragrance products, then this sunscreen is a no for you. And now would I personally buy this sunscreen again? Well, let's see. I have to take into consideration the price as well, if I'm going to answer that question. This sunscreen isn't necessarily cheap. It ranges from 20 to $25. Sometimes it's even more expensive than that. Depends where you buy it. But online, you can get it from 20 to $25. That's not exactly cheap. And for the same price range, you can get, what I should say, UV Moon 400 sunscreens. Now, those are my favorite sunscreens if you have been watching my channel then you probably know already that line UV Immune 400 is my personal favorite because of 
the Mixoral 400 newly patented UV filter by La Roche-Posay that actually protects against the ultra long UVA rays. So um, just because of that, if I take everything into consideration, the price and the UV filters and everything, I would still go for the La Roche-Posay because for the same price I get better UVA protection. And UVA protection is important if you are applying sunscreen as an anti-aging step. If you want to protect your skin from aging, then you need to protect your skin from UVA rays. And they are more important than UVB rays when it comes to aging. So um, if you ask me, I would just, yeah, get a new packaging of La Roche-Posay UV Immune Fluid or yeah, fluid is better for the summer, I would say, yeah, than the cream and cream I would I would use in the winter. And there you have it. That would be it for today's video. And if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, then you might consider subscribing to my channel. So yeah, thank you so much for watching one more time and I will see you in my next video. Bye.